हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू द अचीवर सेटअप सो गाइस इफ यू आर फर्स्ट टाइम इन दिस चैनल एंड प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूजीसी नेट एग्जामिनेशन एंड वेरियस स्टेट सेट एग्जामिनेशन एंड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर रिक्रूटमेंट एग्जामिनेशन प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल बिकॉज दिस चैनल इज फॉर द पेपर वन ऑफ यूजीसी नेट एंड सेट एग्जाम्स एंड पेपर टू कॉमर्स ऑफ ऑल द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन राइट सो इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड अ सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज विच विल बी ऑलमोस्ट एट टेन टू ट्वेल्व वीडियोज विल बी अपलोडेड it will be continued in that february also so that is i am going to cover the 2022 ugc net commerce three shifts of question papers on one by one basis 10 10 questions or 15 15 question will try to cover so ugc net ugc net commerce 2022 paper commerce 2022 question papers. There are three shifts. Total 300 questions are there. So that three shifts will try to cover as maximum possible. So on a combined basis only, I will be discussing one by one question with a proper explanation. So if you want me to uh, put more and more videos, kindly do subscribe to this channel and please do hit a like button. So before proceeding further, myself Bhadnava Shivlingam do join in my Telegram group Achieve Sada AA and do follow me in the Academy Learning App also. The links are given in the description. And moreover, I teach at an academy plus subscription also, an academy free platform also for the UGC net paper one and commerce. So you can join into an academy plus subscription for the complete courses as well as the revision courses. And there is a paper one previous year question also going uh, going to start in February third. And already revision course is going on, which is for the February examination. So you can take the academy plus subscription. There is offer which is going on. So if you take before the uh, 31st of January, that is tomorrow, then you will be getting 20% discount. You will be getting 20% discount of uh, any of the Academy Plus subscription. Either if you go for a 6 months or 12 months, there is only a two, uh, 2,000 difference only there. So 12 plus 3 months. If you take a 12 months, you are going to get for the 15 months. So pay for 12 months, get for 15 months. And pay for 6 months, get for 7 months. So there is a 20% discount and this extension offer is also available. So try to use this opportunity as early as possible before the January 31. Shiva Live is an invite code. Use this code to get this discount offer in an academy plus subscription. First February onwards, there is a 10% price is going to increase. So to avoid that, there is a 20% discount is going on. Otherwise, later you need to pay extra 30 percentage. This 20 percent discount will go and 10 percent extra price is going to be. Right? So, let us start the question number one. There is a complete revision course. 45 days revision course is going on. For this PYQ course also going to get added. PYQ of paper one total sessions are going to added in the February. Before your examination it will be completing. So, you can join it on Academy Plus subscription. So, pricing pricing practice of setting a price target and then developing a product that would allow the firm to maximize total profit at that price is called. Price ceiling, price matching, price lining, price power. So yet yeah, the question is very very straight question. It is a practice of setting the price target and developing a product that would allow the firm to maximize the total profit. So, price is going to be set as a target. It will be increasing the profit. It will be increasing the profit element. That type of price is called as a what? Answer is given as a lining. Price is lining. Price, price lining means price is lined up in such a way that with a target profit, with a target price. Suppose my target price is to fix 100 rupees per unit. 100 rupees per unit. I will develop the product in such a way by incurring my cost less than 10, 100 rupees, less than 10, 100 rupees, so that in this 100, my cost will be there, my profit element both will be there, and whenever these both are there, the profit element whatever is there, it should be maximum profit at this price. So, by keeping this in mind, maximum profit, by keeping this in mind only, I am trying to fix this target price so that I can reduce my cost of production to reach this target price to reach maximum profit. That is what price line. Next, 
मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग एबीसी कॉस्टिंग टारगेट एंड प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग सो आंसर इज गिवन एज एन ऑप्शन ए दैट इज ए टू बी फोर मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ एनी गिवन वैल्यूम ऑफ आउटपुट बाय विच aggregate costs are changed if a volume of output uh, volume of output is increased by 1 unit so marginal costing is nothing but cost incurred for producing a one additional unit of a product is called as a marginal cost abc cost is a fourth costing that involves being tracing of activities so it is it is based on identifying a cost driver related to that particular activity and assigning the cost to that particular product next target costing is just now we have seen target pricing is nothing but target costing only we will integrated approach to determine the product features and price and product cost to ensure a company to earn reasonable profit just now we have seen the price lining the price lining is nothing but target profit only the target costing only i have this much target price to achieve that profit to achieve that pricing to make that price i have to reduce my cost as much as possible below than that target price it's called as a target costing process costing is nothing but it is used in identical products that are produced through ongoing series of production ongoing means continuously the production has to happen right next stake uh, stackelberg model as well as nash equilibrium peter strategic framework and uh, prisoner's dilemma prisoner's dilemma is discussed in the uh, class already if you look at here option b is a given answer let us see option b is a given answer a3 by keeping all other side you look at only the d because we know only prisoner's dilemma as of now before looking at this question we know only prisoner's dilemma that is prisoner's dilemma is given as a one what it is the situation in which each player in a oligopoly market adopts a dominating strategy but could do by cooperating a dominating strategy but they can do by cooperating also actually this type of strategy in a oligopoly in oligopoly large firms will be there correct na few number of large firms will be there that large firms will be that large firms will be having a big type competition and they will avoid the price price war they will not change the prices because if any large large entity is changing a price immediately to that impact competitor also will change the prices that is why price war will be there to avoid that one we should work in a cooperative mechanism so cooperative mechanism is it possible in the competition that is not possible but still we should make it to possible we we can do something by cooperation not every time by the competition that type of dilemma prisoner's dilemma is nothing but do i need to go and compete or do i need to cooperate with the market to maintain the same prices if i decide to cooperate interdependency will be there my decision always depends on the other if i decided to negate with that and compete with that person with that entity then i will adopt to independence in my decision i will not be depending on others that will lead to this dominant strategy but they can do it by cooperating also called as a prisoner's dilemma next is that second so a is given as a three stackelberg model is a firm that is disproportionately powerful the market leader and makes the first move and captures the two third of the market share so stackelberg model model is saying only one thing whenever whenever any new type of market when we are entering where no body is available no body is available but we are entering it for the first time then initially i will capture almost 75% of the market two third of the market i will capture whenever ola has introduced that online cab booking system uber was not there other comp rapido was there not there nobody was there so when ola came into place Ola is the only one which is operating as a online that vehicle aggregator, which has captured majority of the market. So when Uber got introduced, by that time Ola is dominating in the market with a full high share. That is what the market follower will get only a third, 
So Uber will get only a remaining share of the market by that time. Slowly, slowly with the prices, Uber also may gain a good market share. Next, Nash equilibrium means B is a fourth one. A is given as a three, B is a fourth one. It is a situation each player has chosen his or her optional strategy given the strategy chosen by the other player. Each player has chosen his or her optional strategy given the strategy chosen by the other player. Each player has chosen his or her optional strategy given the strategy of chosen by other players. Actually, every player in the market, every organization in the market has their own strategies. But rather than having my own strategy, sometimes I will follow the strategy which is given by the others. Like you may ask the topper, what is your strategy in tracking JRF? The same strategy you may adopt if it is suitable to you, you will adopt and move further. That is what Nash equilibrium here. Right? Next is that Peter's strategic framework. Second, conceptualization for identifying the structural determinants of intensity of competition and the probability of firms in oligopolistic industries. So, this uh, prisoner's dilemma, Peter's strategy framework, Nash equilibrium, Sagalberg model all are related to a economic framework of the oligopoly market only because almost majority are referring to oligopoly. So, Peter's strategic framework says conceptualization for identifying the structural determinants of the intensity of competition and the probability of firms in oligopolistic industries. Intensity of competition and the probability of firms in an oligopoly industries means full competition will be created in the oligopoly and whatever oligopoly in the uh, total big big firms are there what factors what factors will be leading into a competition in the oligopoly the main one determinant is that price when you change the price obviously that will impact on the other firms and other firms will when you increase the price competitors in the oligopoly will maintain the same price they will not increase but when you decrease the price competitor also will reduce the price in this case what benefit you are going to get by decreasing the price nothing now nah. because when you decrease he is also decreasing when you decrease if he is maintaining the same you may get a market share and you may get more sales but when you decrease they are also decreasing which is leading into price war unnecessary competition that competition is not even giving more sales only very very less portion of sales only it is increasing due to change in that price right so that is about the uh, this question Stackelberg, Nash and uh, Nash equilibrium Peter strategic framework and prisoners dial one question four concepts that is why it has taken much time next question arrange the following steps in a logical sequence of process of management audit so we need to arrange as per the management audit <coughs> Identify the responsibility center, review of organizational structure, reporting, and identifying the segment and object of business, review of performance of each responsibility center. These are the things. But I believe as per the question, reporting should be at the end. Reporting should be at the end. But in three options, the same is there. In three options almost, CCC is there at the end. So what should be the beginning one? Identifying the center or else identifying the segments. Which one it is? Answer is given as in D. That is D. First, identify and segregating the objectives of business. Based on this objectives, you are going to have the review of organization structure, top to bottom. Because this is about management audit now. Top to bottom, director, CEO, CFO, managers, subordinates, employees, clerk, attenders, everything. So, review the structure entirely. Later, every level should have a responsibility. That responsibility, it can be a revenue center, re responsibility center, cost center, revenue center or profit center. It can be anything, investment center also. Next, after that, it will be E. E, review the performance of each center. Then finally, report that. That is what management audit sequence usually. Next, RBI financial inclusion index. Interesting one. This is actually expected question before the exam day. RBI Financial Inclusion Index, Quality Parameter Captures. 
So RBI is having three parameters. That is access, usage, quality. Three parameters. But the question is about in this index, financial inclusion index, the quality parameter is going to have what? The quality parameter is going to have what? So answer is D. A, B, E. Financial literacy, consumer protection, ease of access. So in quality, how they will maintain the quality? Financial literacy because everybody should know about use of the product. Consumer protection. And third one, ease of access. These are the three things which are part of the quality parameter of this index. These remaining are two parameters, doesn't have any sub parts. Okay. Next. As per which one of the following approaches, firm finances part of its permanent working capital with short term financing. They are saying part of its permanent working capital, permanent working capital from short term financing. Short term financing means this is a balance sheet. So current liability, current asset. Short term financing means from here you are trying to prove. Or permanent working capital from the short term liability you are taking. That is which approach you are depending more on the short term sources means it's a risky in nature. Aggressive approach it should be. It should be aggressive approach. The more dependency on short term sources is an aggressive approach. When you depend more on the long term sources that will be a conservative approach. Risk will be less here. Here risk will be more. Right? Next. So these are the questions in this part. But these are maybe less number of questions in this part. But concept is important. So how many points of new understanding, new knowledge that you gain. So make a note of each and every learning point in a bullet form in your notebook. This will yield a knowledge which will give us strength to the upcoming questions. That is what I can say. Thank you so much. If you like this series, do hit a like button and do not forget to hit a subscribe and bell icon do share with your friends as much as possible kindly so, uh, join in my telegram group for the free classes for the paper one as well as paper two commerce thank you